Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Bird's Nest, your boy CK, and today you're back with another episode of Get to the Top 100 or Die Trying, episode 8, I believe, and man, we're moving up surely but slowly in the top 500, looking to get to the top 400, man, it's definitely not easy, we've been stringing together a few wins here and there, but obviously we're still getting mossed, we still can't stop phase catching, so that's going to be a problem, 7-0 early on, looking to run a screen to Macklin, and he decides to step out of bounds, so that forces us into a third and long. We got pressure in our face, and we're throwing it up, and we're getting intercepted, man. Terrible start to this game so far, as we can't even tackle him. Uh, Todd Harriman saves the day right there, so we're down 7-0. to zero. My opponent's looking to make this a two-possession game uh, right here. He's going to hit the stop and go, and look at that. 14 to nothing early on, man. We're in the hole. We got to dig ourselves out of it, and who else but LaShawn McCoy with a beautiful spin move and then some. Getting us into my opponent's territory. Third and long, though, we're going to playmaker triangle and get him up the field. Looking to score right here. And now we're, we're at the one yard line. We hand the ball off. Inside zone is a very effective play, um, you know, in short yardage situations. For those of you guys that don't know, a very solid run play. Probably one of the most safest ones if I had to if I had to guess. But here he is, man. Third and ten. And keep in mind this play. He's going to run it multiple times this game. Just a nice curl route from that slot receiver. Right there, I thought we had to tack on the backfield. Just That just sucks when that happens, man. D'Angelo Williams all of a sudden looking like Adrian Peterson, man. I can't explain it, but it's all good, man. Next play, he runs the screen. And then remember this play. Got him. User pick, man. We finally, finally adjust. Nice bait right there. Um, you know, foreshadowing what's going to happen later in the game. But you always, already saw the thumbnail. You can already guess. Look at LaShawn McCoy, man. Nice spin move. Trying to make this a, a tie game. That's what we want to do in this drive. Uh, less than 40 seconds now before the half, you know, and so 14 to 7. We run the screen pass, get the ball to Darren Sproles, and he's just following his blockers, getting out of bounds. Very nice job. One timeout remaining. So we have to go for the sidelines and beautiful bullet to my boy Josh Huff. And now we got crossing routes, but Keekly. I forgot about him. I don't know how you forget about someone that's. Basically, you know, the poster boy from Madden 15, but yeah, we did. We forgot he was patrolling the middle, and we throw an interception. So we do not have the opportunity to take the lead now, but it's all good. We're throwing Dots to James Casey, man. Coming up clutch. Uh, pretty sad that we got rid of him. He was a very nice special teams player, but that's about it. You know, we're paying too much for him just to do uh, work on special teams. But right there, we get the ball to Darren Sproles, third and five. Beautiful conversion. And we do a nice spin move with LaShawn McCoy. Getting closer and closer. Fourth and two. Huge play. Look at Nick Foley and Dynamite getting the first down and more, man. At the one-yard line. Hand off to Brent Selleck. And we tie this game up. So we're in the third quarter now. Kicking the ball off. This man is going to reverse field. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful he's not fast. Because if he was, that probably would have been six. Instead, he's slow as hell. So we end up tackling him. And look at this play, though. Holy Carroll, second man, what a play, he was the last man, last line of defense as you can see right there, no safety behind him, and he comes up clutch with a huge, huge fumble man, so we have the ball now, approaching the fourth quarter, damn, Shady, get off him, and he's taking this one the distance though, ugh, I don't know who that was, but you might as well say your prayers for him because that might be the last you're going to see him. <laughs> Anyways, he's going deep, trying to test Malcolm Jenkinson. Uh-uh. No, sir. We get the user pick once again. I don't even know if that was a user, man, but I will take it. We get the interception regardless. Looking to house it, but yeah, we'll just get to the 25. Hand the ball off. Try to waste some time. Continue to feed the rock to our uh, running backs. And no one's open, man. We can't find anywhere to throw it. And we get sacked. Still up seven at this point. We just got to throw it away and punt the ball. Play some defense. That's what we're pretty good at right now. Keep my punts. Only 14. And look at Cam Newton just flopping on the ground like LeBron. All right, I'm sorry, LeBron fans. But, yeah, he's pretty well known for flopping. All right, let me get back to the gameplay. He's going up deep. Trying to moss on Boykin's side, I believe. Doesn't work. Fourth and 13. We're using Kerry Williams. To the right, sucking to the right, sucking to the right, Bounces. Big hit fumble. Let's go, man. Connor Barnum recovers it. I think that was Nolan Carroll once again with a huge, huge play. And we got to get at least a first down. Got to get in the field goal range to make this game over. So here we are, third and 12. 
terrible pass. I don't even know what that was, man. Try to hit the comeback. Didn't work. Now my opponent has enough time to go down the field and tie this bad boy up. Look at him with the nice screen pass. We weren't expecting it. And he's going to run this ball. And he hasn't been having too much success on the ground. So we're not worried at this point. Um, like two back-to-back -back runs, two stops, as you can see. Third and long, though. Remember these stopping routes. We're watching the slot receiver. But he goes to the outside receiver. Great adjustment. Right there, he bat the ball down. Could have been intercepted. Um, this one, wow. Going to Mr. Trusty. Greg Olson. Now you guys know why I use him so much in Mutt. He's such a reliable catcher. Right there, Nate Allen. You have to pick that off, man. That's game if you do. And he's going back to Mr. Trusty. Getting him down to the one-yard line. Now he's going to try and sneak this one in. But we have defense for that. No timeouts remain. He's going to his trusty receiver. Kelvin Benjamin. Six foot whatever. He's tall as hell. So he's going for two. And no, he's just going to come out and try to draw us off sides. Doesn't work. Ties this game up. And he gets ball in overtime. So at this point, I'm not happy, man. I thought we dominated this game. I thought we fought and, you know, earned our victory. But we have to continue playing defense. We have to get the ball back right there. We were fortunate he didn't catch that. He's going to run the trap, get a first down. We're going to big hit him with Nate Allen right there. And then you've seen the thumbnail. Michael Kendricks with the incredible bait right there on Cameron Newton. Giving the ball back to the offense and helping us continue our win streak man all we have to do is get in the field goal range kick it through the uprights and go ahead and walk home with a victory that's exactly what we do hope you guys did enjoy it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace